Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, uh, my friends on the other side often demonize migrants who are attempting to cross the southern border. They call it an invasion. I, I don't think such rhetoric is worthy of members of Congress. But as a result of this extreme rhetoric, faith-based organizations that support asylees and refugees fleeing violence and persecution have reported receiving heightened threats and attacks. Um, all this rhetoric does is fan the flames. Migrants are increasingly dehumanized as a direct result of Republican xenophobic rhetoric. In 2019, a far-right anti-immigrant extremist murdered 23 people, most of them Latino, at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas. Perhaps we all remember that. According to his so-called manifesto, his murderous spree was motivated by his belief that there was what he called a Hispanic invasion of people coming to the United States illegally. Chief Molden does hateful rhetoric, uh, xenophobia, or racism have any place in the Border Patrol? Ma'am, thank you for the question. I would say absolutely not. I, I think you know, hearings like this are, are a great way to get the facts out there, um, you know, and certainly um, there is no there is no place for hate within the border patrol. Thank you for the question. Well, uh, thank you for that answer, Chief uh, Chavez. How does extreme rhetoric, including the rhetoric used by lawmakers, make your work uh, and that of agents more challenging? Thank you, ma'am, for the question. You know, I think when um, I'm out there with our agents and we focus on the mission and we do the job that we do every day, encountering the migrants on the ground, the relationship that exists between those agents and w encountering those migrants, it's one of those uh, relationships that no one will ever understand because those migrants, they, they see that agent for the first time, many of them on their journey, this is the first time they get the assistance and the help that they need from a law enforcement officer from days and weeks maybe even months on a, on, a, on a long journey. So they're very helpful, they're very happy to have seen that agent uh, for the first time. So a lot of times for us, I always talk to the agents about not worrying about the rhetoric or the things that they hear out there, about the, 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 anything that they may see that's negative, just focus on your mission, focus on, t on treating people with dignity and respect that they deserve like any other human being. And, and always be professional and keep that standard, right? One of the things that we always strive on, especially in the RGV where we have these large central processing centers, is that we do our very best to keep migrants healthy, keep them safe, keep them fed, and keep them clean. That's our number one priority because they're only with us for a few hours. We are only a CBP temporary holding facility. We are not long-term detention. So that is our number one priority always. Well, I certainly appreciate what you are doing. Uh, to assure these uh, uh, migrants. But Chief uh, Chavez, what can we in Congress do to ensure that we are working toward real and meaningful solutions to strengthen our immigration system? Ma'am, thank you so much for the question. You know, I have served now 27 years in this outfit, and I remember uh, when I started, it was the 104th uh, session with Congress. We are now at the 118th session. And um, here still talking, um, we're talking about immigration, we're still talking about border security. I, uh, I think that we need to really just embrace change and, and good change so that we re reform our immigration laws, 
We really need to have that balance between immigration and, and border security and get serious about that. And we seriously need to, to find a solution because we are Border Patrol agents. We are the ones that enforce policy, your policy that Congress puts out. We are there to secure that border. We care about uh, the American people. We care about our country. And uh, our Border Patrol agents work very hard every day between those ports of entry to secure this country. And I'm just so very proud. I think that um, as, as we continue to move forward, I always ask, whenever Congress is ready to put that team together, look at Border Patrol agents to come in and advise you, because I think there's many of them out there already with experience that, that know how to, uh, to help out in building that, that path forward, because uh, I think it's time. If not, otherwise, if we don't have the right policies or consequences, the, the world is watching us. And uh, we're going to continue to see the, these large migration flows from around the world entering here at our southern border. Thank you, ma'am, for the question. Gentlelady's time has expired. I feel compelled to state the fact that I believe my Democrat friends are confusing real oversight with fanning flames. Conducting oversight allows us to gather facts to solve problems, not fan flames. 